Yeah, hey, put it in reverse if the camera works. There we go. Oh, the wheel is straight. Keep running. Right, guys i just got back from the glass shop i had to put a new windshield on the track hawk and then as soon as i shut it off it's doing the software update to the radio so i'm allowed to do its thing while we uh we talk about the outside so the airbags are already done on this thing we actually repaired the bags and this wheel one before we even started on the framework just because i wanted to get that out the way so when the car is done off the frame there's not really nothing else to repair uh only thing left on this is to fix the seat belts because obviously when the airbags deploy these seat belts lock up. So I gotta take them off. I gotta send them out to, um, what's that one place called? Oh, Safety Restore. They're gonna repair these. Once we get them back, we'll put them in and then the airbag light should turn off. I don't wanna start it because it's doing this update thing. Uh, these don't deploy. I know I've already mentioned that in the last video, but I don't have to touch these or take the seat belts off or the buckles off to repair them. So that's good. These are all the, all the sensors. So we got four sensors that go in the middle. And these other two are the ones that go on the side. The sensors alone are pretty expensive. I think these were uh, close to about four, four hundred, four hundred dollars, so hundred dollars a piece on these, and those were one eighty a piece. So all this stuff adds up. I mean, all these receipts are from the dealer, and I'm uh, probably like fourteen grand just in parts on this thing because we went OEM with all the parts. So let me show you guys how the outside looks. So I ended up driving it to the repair shop to replace the windshield. And the hood latch isn't in yet. It was still on order. So I just zip tied it temporarily. Um, so I did end up going with the green belt. The other belt, there was nothing wrong with it. It just looks a lot better with that green belt on there. I didn't put the intake on there yet because I had to replace this coil over here. This one was damaged and the connector was busted out from the accident. Well, not really from the accident. I think the, the colder intake was here. And when it got pushed in, the back piece broke the connector. So it had nothing to do with the frame or anything like that. But I put a new one in there and it's not misfiring or um as triggering the truck engine light the truck engine light was on because the ambient temperature sensor was missing and i just installed that right now i literally just went and picked it up the back where it is over here right over there so i installed that now it's reading the outside temperature that's all that does um but here's how it looks so far it's actually looking pretty good so when we first bought this thing um it actually came in hit a lot more than what i expected so we ended up putting a brand new frame rail cut on this as you can see can't even tell if it was ever hit um i mean most people will just pull it you know make it straight and then put everything back on but i don't do that i want to make sure it's done right so i ended up cutting it welding it painting it again and now it looks like the factory so when it came in this frame rail was twisted and this abs controller was broken so we couldn't even get it started i had to go get a new abs controller we had to reprogram it um because when you're pressing the brake pedal the connector was snapped off so it wasn't reading that the brake is being pressed and the car wouldn't start but um, not all that's good. The only lights on the dash. Oh shit, I can't start it because it's still updating. But the only lights on the dash right now we have is the um, the ABS light because it's reading that the right rear wheel speed sensor isn't reading. So it could be possibly just a bad sensor I got to replace. And it's reading that the adaptive cruise control isn't plugged in, which obviously it isn't. So once all that's plugged in, then we should have any more lights on the dash. But everything that you see here is brand new the cooling system these coolers this harness even this harness um the only thing wrong with the old one was that this uh this pigtail over here was snapped off from the accident but instead of just wiring a new pigtail i ended up replacing the whole harness that goes all the way to the fuse box so if you follow this it plugs into the fuse box it goes all the way down plugs in here and then has a headlight harness over here well as you know this is the bumper harness and this is the headlight harness and it goes all the way down to the driver's side and the plugs onto here. So this is about $300, but I didn't want to risk anything else because you really can't see if anything else is cut up because it's all wrapped up. So I ended up just going new and uh, being safe and sorry. So cooling system on this thing was expensive as hell. The cooling system alone was uh, close to 1800 bucks. It's a four piece setup. So the fan alone was like a thousand dollars and then you got cooling fan. So you got cooling fan, you got the trans cooler, AC condenser, and then the, um, the intercooler for the supercharger so these two lines go to the supercharger you got the ac condenser which has the trans coolers going through it and then you got the radiator and then you got the cooling fan 
So a four piece setup was about $1,800 brand new. That sensor over there, let me zoom in. That sensor over there was also snapped off. That was like 150 bucks. And I think that's for, uh, that, that has something to do with the suspension. Cause when I was reading the codes, it's saying that I had an open circuit. But once I, uh, once I repaired it, it fixed that issue. Uh, new, new oil cooler with lines. The lines were bent up from the accident. So I went new with that new bracket. Um, I do have the headlight, the other headlight I bought it used right over there. So we do have the other headlight and people were saying, <laughs> I'm like, why, why is everybody commenting that I broke the grill? And then I went and rewatched the video and I dropped my light and I snapped it over here, but I ended up just popping this off. And I pushed it back and now it's fine again. But I didn't realize that until I rewatched the video. But um, I do have another headlight. The There should be two headlights in here. I guess the other one inside the shop. But I do have the other headlight. Uh, what else we got in here? Oh, this is the harness for the bumper, for the sensors. Uh, this is the adaptive cruise control module. This is why the that light is on the dash. So once I've plugged that in, then we got to program it. We have to do like a driving procedure to relearn that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's coming along pretty good. This one's already pre-sold. If you guys watched the other video, I already said that. Um, we ended up going to Green Bell just because it looks a lot better. I mean, the car's already tuned and modified. So just a little extra touch to go in there. Uh, but that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And I already talked to you guys about the wheels. These wheels came off the same truck that we did the, the red eye swap on. And they just look a lot better than having those other other wheels i ended up needing two wheels that were broken from the accident so i just went with a whole new setup and these are 305s so if you look at it from the back it's just a lot better than the other ones the other ones are 295s i'm not sure if i'm gonna get rid of this tail light tent the thing is this truck has been sitting somewhere for so long look at it let's see if we catch it on camera it needs like a really good polish that's the old stuff when they get a new when i rub it off so once it's done, we'll give it a polish and then um, we'll get it ready to for delivery for the new owner. Let me show you guys something. I don't know if I can start it with this. Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. But this thing has only 8,000 miles. It's technically brand new. It has the TVs in here too. Um, next video, I'm gonna show you guys a Challenger and what's new on the Challenger. That one's pretty much almost done. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Stay tuned for what we got going on. I dropped the Magnum off to the upholstery shop this morning. I'll show you guys a video right after this. And uh, once we get it back, we're going to finish the interior up and then get it off to the customer. So that one's almost done. And then uh, I might be having a new project come again next week. So stay tuned for that. But that's going to be it for today's video. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the Trackhawk and where we're at with it. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you back on the next one.